how can we relate this to function? When we say function, it is actually a special kind of relation. So function is also a relation. We call it special kind because it follows an extra rule. Just like a relation, function is also set of ordered pairs. However, please remember this, every x value must be associated to only one y value. It means x must only have one y partner. Okay, only one y value. Let us see this example. We have here two sets of ordered pairs, set A and set B, and they are written in table of values. Now, we have to check if each x value is associated with only one y value. Let us see. Negative 3 is paired with 7. Negative 1 is with 5. 0 is with negative 2. 5 is with 9. And 5 again is with 3. We have two 5s here. So therefore, we may remove one of these since they are the same. Let us remove this one. And so, therefore, this x value, which is 5, it is associated with both 9 and 3. And we can only, and we can only consider a relation as function if the x value is associated with only one y value. But here they are two. Therefore, set A is not a function. Okay, now let's check set B. Negative 2 is paired with 0. Negative 1 is with negative 2. 0 is with 3. 4 is with negative 1. And 5 is with negative 3. Is there any repetition in the x values? None. Same with the y values. So in this case, since every x value has only one y value then therefore set b is considered as a function it means that we can conclude that if we have repetitions or duplicates of x values like here we have two fives with different y values so five is paired with nine and three then this relation is not a function Okay, please remember that we must not have any repetitions or duplicates in the x value for it to be a function. So in set B, obviously this relation is definitely a function because every x value is unique and is associated with only one y value. Let us have more examples. But before we start, Remember that to identify a relation as function, it must not have repeating x value and also x must be associated with only one y value. Let us see. Example number one. We have set A which is equal to 5 and negative 2, 10 and negative 4, and 10 and negative 6. Again, you will just be looking at the first coordinates or the x values for us to be able to know if this given set of ordered pairs is a function or not. So let us observe. We have here 5, 10, and another 10. So we have two 10s in the x value. Therefore, this will not be considered as function. So this is not a function because we have repeating x values. Did you understand? Another, set B is equal to 1A, 2A, and 3A. Again, look at the x values. So for the x values, we have 1, 2, and 3. There is no repeating x value. Therefore, this one is a function. Another, for number 3, we have table of values. Values of x are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Values of y are 4, 8, 8, 12, 16. Again, you just have to look at the x values. So, observe if they have repeating x value. As you can see, there is no repeating 
value. Therefore, this is considered as function. Another values of x, we have 5, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 5. And for y values, we have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Observe. And as you can see, we have repeating x values here. We have two fives as well as two negative twos. So therefore, this set is not considered as function. So not a function. Let us have more examples. Okay, so we have here mapping. Five is connected to negative one and zero. And ten is with one and two. Again, let's repeat must have no repeating x value and x is associated with one y value only. But here, 5 is paired with negative 1 and 0 and 10 is with positive 1 and 2. Therefore, this is not a function. Next, how about this one? So, 7 is paired with 2, 8 is paired with 4, 9 is paired with 6. As you can see, x is associated with only one y value. Therefore, this is a function. Next, what is the use of vertical line test in identifying relation as function or not? We use this test if the given relation is presented using graph. If a vertical line crosses the graph of a relation in more than one point, the relation cannot be a function. If no vertical line crosses the graph, in more than one point, then the graph is a graph of function. Let us see these examples. In number one, we have this graph. To identify if this graph is a function, you may draw a vertical line anywhere on this graph and see if it intersects at only one point, then this graph is a function. But if it intersects with two or more, then that will not be a function. So let's see, let's draw a line. Okay, as you can see, it only intersects one. So therefore, this graph is a function. Another example, again, you may draw vertical line anywhere on this graph. Okay, so let us draw a vertical line. Oops, as you can see, this vertical line intersects with two points on this graph. So, therefore, this will not be considered as a function. Another, if we have this graph, so we have a circle here. Again, draw a vertical line anywhere on this graph. For example, let us draw here. Okay, as you can see, this line intersects with these two points. Okay, it touches the red circle here, also here. So, therefore, this is not a function. Another, how about this? Draw anywhere here. For example, let's draw a vertical line here. It only intersects at one point. We may try on the other side. Again, it also intersects at one point. So therefore, this is considered as function. Now, how about equations are the only given? Graph is not presented. How can we identify that each of this equation is considered as function? Actually, to do that, you have to solve for y, and if you will be able to get a unique value for y, then that is a function. But without solving for y, we can actually identify if this is function or not by looking at the exponent of y. Okay? So here in this equation, you just have to look at the variable y. For it to be a function, the exponent must be an odd number. Odd number. It means, what are the odd numbers? We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. All the numbers that ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So if the exponent of the variable y is odd number, that equation is considered as function. While if it is even number or if the exponent is even number, that is not a function. So let us see. 
Let's start with y equals x squared plus 3. So y, as you can see, has an exponent of 1. Actually, the exponent is not written. But if the exponent is not written, it means that it has an exponent of 1. So since 1 is the exponent and 1 is an odd number, therefore, this equation is a function. Again, you will only look at the variable y. Second, so variable y is here and it is raised to 2. 2, of course, is an even number. So therefore, this is not a function. Number 3, y again, it has no exponent or the exponent is 1. Therefore, that's a function. Number 4, y cube equals 2x. So cube, of course, is an odd number. Therefore, this one is also a function. Number 5, we have y equals 6 x raised to 2, y here has no exponent or the exponent is 1, therefore this one is also a function. Number 6, x squared plus y squared equals 1. So y squared has an exponent of 2 and it is even number, therefore this one is not a function. Same with number 7, y is raised to 2, so 2 is again an even number. Therefore, this is not a function. Last one, number 8, y is raised to 1. So, therefore, this, this equation is a function.